All right, this next video is showing you how to uh, get your acid ready. This is actually a very important video, and it's very important that you pay attention to this. Um, as you can see here, from the bottle, it's corrosive and it's toxic. It is an acid, so it's, it's important that we're wearing our PPE, we're wearing our mask, we're wearing our gloves, and wearing some eye goggles. Now for this video um, training, I'm not gonna wear the goggles, but um, anytime you're mixing, gloves, goggles, and mask. Uh, one of the most important things that I can't say enough, that I can't foot stomp enough, is we never ever put water into acid. It's always acid into water, always. Um, do not ever misconstrue that. Uh, do not take those risks, do not take those chance. Um, if you're in a hurry, it doesn't matter. You always want to put acid into water. Do not skip that step. Do not think you're okay just because it's a little bit. Nope, always acid into water. So in this uh, video, I've already filled it up with water about halfway. Um, I like the uh, acid to be a little strong because we deal with a lot of rust. Um, we do a lot of paper sealing, um, so I like it to be a little strong. Uh, so I already got the water in there. Now we're going to put the acid. And so now that we have that mixed one thing I'd like to point out that I did wrong in this video is I actually poured it over concrete. Um, it is my driveway, uh, not that that should be an excuse, but uh, if you're out at the site, we typically want to mix the acid if it comes down to that um, in an isolated spot like on the road or something because acid will definitely leave a white mark on concrete um, and it sticks out like a sore thumb. So therefore, you always want to mix this um, typically on the road if you can or somewhere out there uh, where if you get a little bit of spill, it's not going to be so noticeable and, and damage the property. Acid, as you already know, is very toxic. It's very corrosive. Um, when we're uh, spraying our acid, we always want to wet the surface first and then we want to rinse thoroughly. and even after we rinse, we want to neutralize that acid. Um, the way we neutralize an acid is we use a degreaser. You can use a degreaser, baking soda, um, but in our case, we use a degreaser to neutralize that. Without neutralizing the acid after use, um, it can tear up the paint, it can tear up the concrete, um, the pavers, it'll etch the pavers, do a lot of damage. So therefore, we're always very, very careful with the acid and again, I can't say it enough in this video, but always acid into water and not water into acid.